there's a video going around the internet that says cold plunging is probably the dumbest thing you could ever do. That video, it seems really concerned with people who suffer from thyroid problems. And I share that concern. It's about 3% of the population would have some sort of hypothyroidism and they should know that cold plunging will recruit brown fat into their body that helps modulate their thyroid. Now, if you're thinking about maybe doing a little cold plunging, experimenting with that on your own to see if it will help your thyroid function, there's some things you should know. A cold plunge is nothing like a plane crash. It's nothing like being on the Titanic. A cold plunge is something you do of your own volition. And there was nobody on the Alaskan Airlines flight that blew out its door, that landed and said, yeah, let's do that again. When you get into the cold plunge, you're choosing to do something hard. And there's a lot of good science on this. Huberman just did a post with David Goggins talking about how choosing to do those hard things builds up your anterior mid-cingulate cortex, your resolve, your tenacity. And Kelly McGonigal, she wrote a whole book called The Upside of Stress in which she talked about the cold presser test and the story that people tell themselves about stress and the way that stress can benefit your health and extend your lifespan. Now the video wants you to think that it's based in science, it shows a journal article and it puts up a nice graph of body temperature going down over time. But what the video doesn't say is that the authors of that article, they think body temperature is going down because people are getting healthier and living longer. So when they cite that study, they want you to believe exactly the opposite of what the study authors are claiming. Our bodies are evolved to expect cold. Our ancestors had it. If we don't get enough cold, it's no wonder we slip into a state of disease. Cold plunging is one of the best things you can do to stimulate the production of new mitochondria. And it's mitochondria that are the key to aging. So when you get into the cold plunge and you stimulate mitobiogenesis, you reverse the rate at which you age. Now there's one point about the video on which I agree. Cold plunging is sexy. Ben Greenfield calls cold plunging Viagra for the whole body. And he's got a really good point. Men who cold plunge experience a boost in their sexual performance. Cold plunging is one of the antidotes for erectile dysfunction. Women who cold plunge experience a boost in their fertility and better birth outcomes. It turns out that more cold is exactly what people in Western industrialized countries need. Did I get it all? Yeah. Anything do you want to say why it's super sexy? No. Okay. Because it's fucking cold. <laughs>